Okay, so today I'm going to go over some stuff about connecting physical components to your micro bit. And by physical, what I mean is anything you can see or hear or uh, watch move or something like that. So lights, buzzers, motors, all physical devices, okay? Uh, right, so here's your micro bit board. If you want to connect physical things to your micro bit board, you've got to use these little uh, pads on the outside. This is pin zero, this is pin one and pin two. Where it says 3V, if I bring it a bit closer, and GND, they are not output pins. They are your plus and minus power rail, okay? And be careful what you do with those, okay? Because you can damage the board. These are the ones we're going to use for connecting our LEDs and switches and stuff. So we've got three. We can decide what we want to do with them, whether we want to use them as inputs or outputs. It's up to us to decide that, right? There are tiny little lines in between the big ones. And if you want to access those, you have to use my special board that you can plug this into. So uh, here we go, right? You have got a cable that joins your micro bit onto your USB in your computer. It's a micro USB on one side and it's a USB on the other. So micro USB, if you've got a C-type uh, charger or lead on your phone or you've got an Apple Lightning, you can put that in either way around, but not on this one, okay? So you've got to be really careful. One side of this connector is wider than the other. And if you look at your board, the wider side goes upwards facing towards where it says micro bit and you can see all the components on and stuff and the switch is by there so same side of the switch to the wider bit and don't force it okay if it doesn't feel like it wants to go in with a little bit of pressure then you probably got it on the wrong way around okay now when you go to take that out just pull it directly out don't jiggle it okay because you will damage the connection if they do get damaged they're really impossible to repair so there you are there's your connection gone in and this gets plugged into any of the usb ports on the computer you're using Chromebook, anything really with a USB port. This is what makes it difficult if we're using them on tablets. Okay, you can access the software, but you can't attach your micro bit to it. Okay, so I've got my micro bit that I'm going to program on a slightly longer cable by the side here. When you plug it in, you'll notice a little red LED that turns on. That tells you you've got power going to the device, okay? Oh, mine's running a little program already as we speak, okay? So it's running a little tinkling little heart program. I think that happens when you shake it, actually. So I'll just leave it by the side for a minute. Right, now, we want to connect components to our device, and we want to com control those components. So first thing I'm going to do on my screen, look, is I'm going to lose my on start. I'm going to lose my forever button by there. Instead of using those, I am going to use an input. And my input I'm going to use is, is button A pressed? I'm going to zoom in a bit so you can see it more clearly. Bring that down there for a second. So is button A pressed? Now I can choose button A or button B or button A and button B, okay? So that's my decision that I'm looking for. And when it's pressed, I want a light, an LED to light up. Now I'm going to connect my LED onto channel two by here, okay? I'll show you why in a minute. Uh, first thing I need to do is I need to go down to the advanced button and then scroll all the way down to where it says pins. And in the pins button, you're looking for this one that says digital right pin something, we're going to change that to P2 in a minute, to zero at the moment it says, we're going to change that as well, right? So here I go, I am writing digital pin P2, that's the one I'm trying to control, and I'm going to turn it on, okay? Now digital language is uh, something you'll get used to, I'm not talking about binary, I'm just talking about the letters that are used to represent on and off. One is on, zero is off, we sometimes call them high and low. So one is high, zero is low. One is on, zero is off. Okay, so I'm, when button A is pressed, it's gonna digitally write to pin two, so there's my pin two, the one with two on it, look, to, to one. Now I can test that on this board by here. Look, if I press button A, you can see that one turns red, and it's got a one by the side of it. Now I've got no way of turning that off, okay? And I'd really like to have that in place. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put in a delay. So if you go back to the basic menu, and you go down to pause, you can drop a pause underneath that, and your pause is measured in milliseconds, see where it says MS? So one millisecond is one thousandth of a second, so a hundred milliseconds, do the maths, is a tenth of a second, right? So a thousand milliseconds is one second. Five thousand milliseconds is five seconds. So I'm gonna turn the light on, wait for five seconds, and then I need to turn the light off. So look, you can go back down to pins, but you can just click on this one, right click on it, duplicate it, and then pop it underneath. And this one here, we need to make sure it's gonna turn the LED 
off. So slide that bar all the way along. So I've got turn it on, wait five seconds, turn it off. Okay, let's test that version. So click on the A button, turns on, four, three, two, one, turns off. Okay, so that works okay, we know that. Now let's send it to the actual circuit board. Right, now watch, I've got here <coughs> a, a cable with an LED attached to the end. More likely than not, I'm gonna give you one of those to use on your program. Now, you probably wanna attach a longer lead on it, but we'll go with that when we when the time arises. <coughs> Let me just show you what's inside that cable, right? And you'll see on the end of it is the LED light that's sticking out. The LED light has got two legs, right? And if you look closely at those two legs, they are not the same length. One is longer than the other. The long leg is the plus, the short leg is the minus, and you must make sure you put those in the right way round, okay? Long is plus, short is minus. We've got another fancy word for it. We call the long one the anode. Like it's almost got the word and in it. And the other one's called the cathode, that's the minus. So the cathode is the short one, the anode is the plus. And this is a ultra bright white LED, very bright. If you look into it, it'll dazzle you, okay? Now, if I connect that straight to my power supply, LED has very low resistance and it will just drag current straight through it and get overheated and uh, won't last very long, okay? So what I need to do is I need to have a device that reduces the current. This is where my little thing called a resistor comes in. So what I've done is I've soldered a resistor onto my circuit and this, the resistor reduces the current going to the LED. So inside your one that you're gonna make, that's all been done for you and nicely insulated. So we're just gonna connect this up to our micro bit. And to get to the cables, you're gonna use some wire strippers. So use the wire strippers and you strip the end of the cable off so you can get to bare metal like this. Bare metal is gonna allow you to make a good connection between your board and the LED. So you have to strip back the insulation on all the cables like this until you see bare metal. Now, next job, you're gonna use one of my connectors that I have here in a little tub. They say, Mr. Owen's amazing micro bit plug-in connectors. I've got a stack there of silver ones, look. So, you need at least two of these connectors. So grab two connectors, there they are in my hand, look. And then to connect to the board, what you're gonna do is you're gonna get your plus wire, that's your red one from your micro bit and from your LED, sorry, and you're gonna put it into the hole for channel two. You're gonna get a plug and you're gonna push that in after the wire. So that's your plus connection done. And then your minus connection, you're gonna go into the GND, the ground, okay? So next one then, put a plug in that one. And those wires are now nicely connected into my board and there's my LED. Right, say goodbye to the heart flashing program because we're now going to replace it with my one that I've got on the screen. Now, if I just move my uh, camera a second, right, down the bottom of the screen, oops, lazy, down the bottom of the screen, if I do that, look, you can see that there's a download button. So you click the download button and give it a minute and what'll happen is it'll create something called a hex file. So this is your hex file. Once it's downloaded, click on the little arrow to the right of it, click on show in folder, and then it will be the highlighted icon. Now, if you look on the tree on the left-hand side, you will see micro bit. And all you need to do is drag it onto the micro bit and then let it go. Now, that will make the LED on the back of your board flash really rapidly. And you will also get a progress bar that tells you how that's being downloaded. So in a second, it'll hopefully appear and it'll go across like that. So it doesn't take very long, really. It's not a big program. Now I'm waiting, okay? If I press button A, something should happen to my LED. So the LED lights up. Told you it's very bright. In this condition, you can't really appreciate how bright it is. And five seconds later, it turns off. Repeat the program. LED on. Five seconds later, it turns off. There you are. So that's about 10 minutes. Look, going over how you can connect physical devices onto your microbit. Watch it. Pause it. Hopefully, it'll make sense after you've done it a couple of times. Good luck.